show. It's like a you know super social, uh, amazing venue, lots of space. The art is showcased really well, and it's just like super beautiful. 111 Minna is a fabulous combination of talent from artists, musicians, and just cool ass people that hang out. It's always a good time. It's a very, very cultured spot. Always dope ass, cutting edge art, cool DJs, and you know, good looking people. And people who are just down to have a good time. The turnout tonight is great. Um, it's enough of a party to where uh, even if you were interested in art, you'd have a good time. But uh, a lot of people that are passionate about um, whatever brought them out here kind of adds to the vibe. I like a place where people are here for a reason. I've been making artwork uh, ever since I was a kid, uh, two, three years old with crayons, just, just doing it. I'm interested in making people think a little bit about um, Native culture, its effect on like current um, art. I really like uh, actually Tim Schafer's art, and it had the three pictures of the girls, um, and it was in you know black and white. I really like the kind of voyeuristic quality of it. It kind of felt like you were watching from afar. Most of my pieces are, are basically uh, figurative works that I basically take photographs that I find on random blogs, um, just a lot of Flickr accounts and I, I strip them down and put them into a different context and it's all freehand drawn so it's just like really fine tight graphite drawings and just kind of my interpretation of other people's kind of like social life. I've been recently really inspired by the um, uh, photographs of Edward Sheriff Curtis who uh, has documented the uh, sort of like uh, native um, like native reservation. These photographs are really beautiful. And then also a lot of like some native Inuit uh, art that I find really inspiring. I think that a lot of my stuff is, is, in, is influenced really strongly by native art. And I, I just hope that people sort of like take a bit of time to sort of uh, research the sources that influence that art and inform the pieces that I make in relation to that. I also liked um, the photographs with the little the kind of shadowy figures painted it. It kind of felt like something I've seen like watching cartoons as a kid. A lot of the stuff here had a sort of comic quality to it, which since we're the kind of cartoon generation, I kind of like how it strikes a nerve with kids like us. It's, it's kind of just for fun, like that's the reason why I do things, that's the reason why it's out there. It's just for people who kind of want to look at things that are nice and kind of you know, have a good time. And I'm not too conceptual with things, I don't really care if it means a whole lot, it's just something that I do and I like expressing that. And I like when people just see something and be like, I like that and that's, that's enough for me.